Today we learned how I created this really cool Lost City photo manipulation using Blender and really some basics in Blender, you will see how basic it is and also combine everything in Photoshop. So let's start. Okay, so here in Blender I use just two of the most common modeling tools and that's Extrude and Inset. So basically I just use a simple cube as you can see and play with the polygons. I inset some polygons and then extrude them and then again inset and extrude and this is so simple and easy that there is nothing simpler in modeling so I just used some basic techniques to create the whole city it's really simple and easy I didn't use some complex modifiers only modifier that I used is a mirror modifier just to mirror the pillar, uh, pillar to the other side of the x-axis and that's basically it so Again, as you can see, I'm inserting some polygons and then extrude in or out, depends on what I want to achieve. Here I'm using the cylinder just to do some Boolean uh, things to create the arch of one part here. And that's the most complex thing that I did. So uh, I used cube, stretch it and just uh, made a Boolean uh, here with, with uh, the cube and this is how I created this arch. Then another cube, stretch it out and insert some faces here and there and uh, create a door, made a copy of the door by mirroring on the other side and then I have two parts of the door, as you can see, pretty simple and easy. So the same thing is applied for the rest of uh, this ancient lost city. Really cool thing about these basic uh, tools like Extract and Inset is that they are exactly the same in any 3D software that you want to use. It doesn't matter if you're creating something in Blender, Cinema 4D, 3D Studio Max, Maya, etc. These techniques are exactly the same. So using Blender or any other 3D software, you will be able to create something that is not existing in the real world, like this Asian city that I'm creating, it's existing only in my imagination, or you're able to create something that is existing in the real world, but maybe you want different orientation, different scale, different textures, etc., different lighting, uh, whatever you can do in 3D world. If you want uh, to try to learn some of the 3D skills, YouTube is full of amazing tutorials, both for Blender and Cinema 4D, my two favorite uh, 3D softwares. I was using Cinema 4D before, but I switched to Blender. And I recommend you to, if you're starting with uh, 3D, I recommend you to download Blender because it's completely free. You don't need to pay for anything. Just download it and start learning it. And certain things, it's much faster to model in Blender than in Cinema 4D, but both softwares are amazing. Okay, so uh, this is it. I finished with this staircase and uh, after a few more modeling things, I this is a wireframe, I finished my city. And also here is without textures, I created those pillars in front of the city and this is when I apply some rock textures and some gold textures on the door. Then I choose the camera orientation and position that I liked and focal length and this is it. After that I took a photo of my friend that I want to position him in the front of the door so I extracted him out of the background as you can see and this is boring and tedious process you already know that but it's crucial to do it. Uh, really good and after that after I extract him I just refine some hair here because uh, it's a little bit tricky to extract it properly so I just wanted to do it manually and convert him to a smart object because I can really easily change the size without losing the quality put him in the front of the door and made a mess because that part of his uh, foot will not be visible actually from the camera angle also I got a torch put him in the hand and uh, then play with some glow. So glow techniques uh, I already covered with a lot of my tutorials. You also have a playlist so you can check it out how to create glow. It's pretty, pretty easily. Then I just added this other model here. It's actually a 3D model of the girl. I took it from Envato Elements and I just position it uh, where I think it's really cool and uh, because I don't want him to be like a lonely ranger, I want him to have a company. They are together exploring the lost city and uh, it's a little bit fun for the overall composition. So I just paint the light on her using some light painting techniques that I already covered in, in several of my tutorials. So 
if you want to learn how to do that, just search for how to paint light on a model on my YouTube channel and you will learn. It's pretty simple and easy, but it's crucial to know that because sometimes you cannot uh, have a proper lighting straight uh, from the photos you download from internet, so you need to repaint some light. So this is really, really important. And now it's time to add some horses in the scene because they obviously didn't came here by foot. Actually, they came here with a jeep, but they couldn't come with the jeep exactly here to the lost city because of the terrain. It was really, really narrow path with a lot of uh, trees and uh, leaves and plants, etc. And uh, the jeep couldn't go through that, but they found some horses without saddle and they actually used them. It was really hard to get those horses, don't ask me how they did it, but they actually did it. And those horses are now here with us in the scene. You can see what imagination can do. So I decided to add a little bit more details to the doors. So I, I downloaded these hieroglyphs and uh, just placed them on the doors with layer mask and put them in the darkening blending mode and play with the curves and uh, hue and saturation to get this effect like they are dented in the door and this is really cool i really love that detail so i i will now skip all other parts of the door because it's exactly the same just made a mask and just uh, do some blending in and this is it this is how it looks with everything finished i really like it what do you think guys about these details on the door let me know down there in the comment section also i played with the torch a little bit more make it a little bit more brighter and uh, adding even more glow to it so i really like it that way and also i decided to add even more details to add these light rays here just draw them manually blur them and then just to add a layer mask to fade out some parts and also made a mask around this pillar because i wanted the light rays to go behind it so this is it it's really simple and easy and i think it's really cool for the overall composition i color them a little bit towards the yellowish tint just touch and you will see later i lower the opacity to be barely visible After some tweakings in camera, I decided to add even more details. I decided that this smoke kind of effect because it's pretty cool. And for this, I use my custom made cloud dust smoke brush. You can get the whole set of these my brushes on my website for just one dollar. You can find a link down there in the description, or you can make them by yourself. If you want, I have a tutorial on that. You can just search on my channel how to make smoke in Photoshop. So as you can see, it's pretty cool to add these details. I tweaked it a little bit here and there removed from certain parts and I really like how this how this looks on the overall composition. And finally this is the final result. I really hope that you like this artwork and that you got inspired from this episode to create something really cool on your own or even to start learning some 3D skills. If you want to do that, just start learning Blender because it's completely free and just type on YouTube Blender Basics and you will have a bunch of really cool tutorials. Right guys, so that would be it for today. See you next week in the same time, same episode. Press the like button, subscribe in case you're new here on the channel. Have fun experiment, see you next week. Bye bye.